the line. And there they go. At the start, the actress in the middle is showing speed to take the lead. The actress in front. Tightly bunts for second with Syrian Breeze now in that spot. B Twin Horses Cameo Award is third. Kishara races fourth. She's Ivory's fifth on the outside in Easter Isle. Then Bag of Silver next, followed by You Gotta Wanna Win, Rocco's Jet and Dono Fortune. They round the clubhouse, turn and head down the back stretch. Carrasco has the actress in front now, too. Syrian Breeze is second on the inside, three parts of a length. Cameo Award third. Kishara fourth. While She's Ivory's races fifth, about six off the lead. Then Easter Isle, followed by Bag of Silver, and You Gotta Wanna Win. They approach the far turn, and the actress still showing her heels now. Three lengths, Syrian Breeze is second. She's Ivory's moves into third, about five off the pace. And Bag of Silver now fourth as they turn for home. It's the actress in front, five lengths. She's Irish is second, Syrian Breeze, and now Easter Isle moving on the outside fourth. They come by the 16th pole, and it's the actress in front, three lengths. She's Irish with a late rush, but it'll be too late. As the actress holds on, the actress wins by one and a half. start. On the inside, She's Irish showing speed, Pirate's crew. It's She's Irish and Pirate's crew battling for the late Kimmy's Club, third on the inside. Skippy Bikini, fourth on the outside. Lucky Lottie, then Class of Canada, say good morning. Peel's reward, then on the outside, party success, while the trailer is velvet and wine. They round the clubhouse, turn and head down the back stretch. B Twain Horses, she's Irish in front ahead on the outside. Skimpy Bikini is second. Pirates Crew third on the inside, only half a length off the pace. Kimmy's Club is fourth, about four off the lead. Then Class of Canada say good morning, party success, and Lucky Lottie. They go into the far turn. Skimpy Bikini has taken the lead, now a length and a half. Pirates Crew is second, two. Here comes Kimmy's Club into third on the outside. Class of Canada moving on the rail as they turn for home. Skimpy Bikini still in front, but Kimmy's Club on the outside. Kimmy's Club takes the lead now as they head for the 16th pole. It's Kimmy's Club, three lengths at the 16th pole and drawing clear. Kimmy's Club and Pirate's Crew coming to the line of finish. Kimmy's Club, the winner by two and a half. Number two, King Zug was scratched out of this one. Okay. And they're off. Middle of the racetrack, Spark Sale gets out of very alertly. From alongside of that comes third happening. 70 times sevens at the rail. Handsome two from the outside with one of them scout. And the early trailer is Crowsfoot with a 5 8 mile lap to go. Four maidens head for the clubhouse turn on the inside, 70 times seven, spark a sail right there. Handsome two now drops back to third, one of them scout fourth alongside of that. Gap of four links back to third happening and crow's foot. They race up the back stretch now. Spark a sail from the outside leads it three parts. 70 times seven from the inside now closing back on. Racing on the far outside, Handsome Two with one of them scout. Gap of four and a half back to third happening. Still Crow's Foot is the trailer. With a quarter mile to go. On the outside, Spark Sale gains the lead once again by a link. 70 times seven, holding on tough at the rail. Back third is Handsome Two. One of them scout on the far outside, third happening in Crow's Foot. They're in deep stretch now, and Russell Kingley has turned loose of Sparkasell, and he's going strong. Sparkasell will win it by three and a half. 70 times seven, second, third was third happening. And there it goes. At the start, Rainbow Shine goes for the lead. On the outside, proud Miss Dunnard is second. And ready, say, gold races third, while on the outside. Kishara is next with Easter Isle between horses fifth. Casimira along the rail, followed by Donald Fortune in seventh. 
then back to something appealing. Then it's French import, while far back is Swappin' Rose Angel. They're into the stretch for the first time, and Rainbow Shine, Jerry Pruitt aboard in front of length. Proud Miss Dunnett races second, while Ready Say Gold third along the rail, only two off the lead. Keyshara races fourth, and on the inside, Kazamiroff. Between horses, Don of Fortune and Easter Isle is seventh. Then back to something appealing, French import, and far back, Swappin' Rose Angel. Down the back stretch, and Rainbow Shine continues to show the way. Now two and a half. Proud Miss Dennett races second. Fall along the rail, Keyshara is third. Then on the outside, Easter Isle on the move. Dono Fortune looks for a spot. Something appealing is on the move now, and they're into the far turn. It's Rainbow Shine in front, but there goes Proud Miss Dunnett to take the lead with Arthur Ochoa up. Proud Miss Dunnett in front now as they turn for home. Here comes Easter Isle into second. Here comes something appealing on the far outside. There into the stretch, and it's Proud Miss Dunnett in front. Easter Isle driving on the outside, and something appealing. It's Easter Isle, and something appealing between horses. Keith Shaw, it's Easter Isle, and something appealing. There's two head and head photo finish. third funny faces in the middle is going for the lead makes the runner on the outside is second on the way home the far outside racing third as they approach the clubhouse turn run then rest is fourth then storm on express class of canada caprino zip followed by kimmy's club then on the inside driller's image and latroy counters trails as they head down the back stretch Makes the runner now, takes the lead in front, three parts of a length. On the way home, second on the outside, a half. Funny faces, third, only two off the pace. Run, then rest. Is two and a half off the lead, moving up on the outside. Stormont Express, fifth, about six to gain, and Class of Canada as they go into the far turn. On the way home, takes the lead on the outside. Run, then rest, moves into second. They turn for home. On the way home and run then rest our heads apart at the head of the lane. Funny faces third, they're into the stretch. It's run then rest and on the way home. At the 16th pole, run then rest. Now in front, three parts of the length and drawing clear. Run then rest, the winner by three.
as he pinned off the turn with a final furlong to go. Fourth Bandera from the outside, see the Martian on the inside, trying to close in, racing back there, it's P.I. right. The race to the wire, fourth Bandera turning away, see the Martian, and fourth Bandera scores it by a length and a quarter. See the Martian on the inside. She's way over from those guys. <laughs> She's wide in that turn. Trying to get over, he can't do nothing. She just don't like it. Look at her. <laughs> she was way outside, dude. Well, See how wide she goes here. Yeah. Front runner. 
Front speed. Quiver's Delight ran against Machiba. That's what I was telling you. Did he see us? I don't know. I waved at him. Yeah, he did. <coughs> Yeah. And we brought McEwen in. And actually, I think it was one of the days that he worked her. Before that, he had to have her out of the stall. Very first odds ever. There's only eight horses in this race. She was dead last out of the game. Phillies given their lead for six furlongs. Obadiah Sugar Bay alertly from the outside. Look at how she's running right the there. Arnie yeah. Green chasing second. British Lassie third to the outside. Nita's girl racing fourth at the rail. Read a bad path. Then comes McEwen secret on the outside. There's two to Little Kitty through the clubhouse turn they go. They have less than a half mile to run. First quarter in 23 and 2. And Obadiah Sugar Bay goes along by three and a half. Arnie's dream from the outside, racing second by two. Nita's girl, the favorite third, only three and a half off the lead pace now. Four links back to Van Pan, another five. Two British Lassie on the outside, four to McEwen Secret. And little Kitty the trailer into the bar turn for the final quarter mile of the race. The half is 49 flat. And the leader is Arnie's dream, racing up on the outside. Here comes Dita's girl, now to challenge. Dita's girl on the outside. They come off the turn of final furlong to go. And from the inside, Van Pan's right there with Dita's girl on the outside. These two sent down for the drive. Van Pan now wearing away Dita's girl. And Van Pan spurs it by a length and a half. Dita's girl settling second, Arnie's dream back third. Then the QNC. 12, 13, 12. She just thought, oh, I gotta run. <laughs> she, oh, she hit the gate. She's to run now. She just stood there when the gate opened. It's so good for getting so many. I have Hadley. Hadley's hold. He's got a hold on her. He's not even urging her. He knew. I 
all the speed that time. It's got her a little wide there, though. That's good to be out yeah. of the mud splash. On that. It's running straight.